All right, I'm gonna start this video off. Uh, I'm building a new a new smokehouse on the other side of the house right there. But I'm gonna start it out with the old one right here. This one's just some old junk that I had left over years ago and uh, probably 15 years I've been smoking in this little old thing right here. But like I said, it was just some scrap lumber I had left over, threw it together. And uh, I wish I knew how many pounds of meat I had smoked in this thing. It's been, it's just been awesome. Look out! Well, you can look at the, you can tell. I mean, it's had some, it's had some fires in it. All it is is a pit in the bottom. It's three foot by three foot. Super simple. It's maybe six foot tall. Oh, I've got holes in the sides right there with those little wood uh, blocks over them that you can, you know, you can adjust the uh, airflow. See, going to the fire so you can damp it down or whatever you need to do. You know, if it gets blazed up, you can shut those down and the smoke will actually come down and oh you know smother the fire down you know keep the fire from blazing up burning everything up anyway 15 years at least and it's been a good one but all right let's go around here and let's look at the new one that i've just started on i started on it yesterday and uh i'm having a hard time this morning i went to a wedding yesterday or last night and uh had a little bit too much fun so i'm getting a slow start this morning I think most of y'all can relate to that too. But anyway, oh, this one's going to be four by four. Got an old Ashley insert right there. That way I don't have to step inside of the smokehouse to do the fire and regulate the airflow and temperature and everything from right here. I don't have to go in. I'm going to have a door on this side right here. Oh, this one's four by four. Yeah, four foot by four foot. I'm thinking about a six and a half, maybe seven foot height on it. Oh, just a lean to. I'm going to put tin on the sides. I may go with concrete board inside. I don't know yet. We're just going to see, see how it does. And, and, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to need the extra insulation like the concrete board in order to keep the temperature up in there. So, I mean, that's going to, it's going to be a trial and error thing. I'm pretty sure this should heat it up pretty good, but, uh, you never know. You know, I may, I may need to go back in there and put that concrete board in there just to add like a, you know, a little bit of insulation, hold more heat in. But anyway, oh, you know, I don't ever have any plan. I just go at it. You know, I just go to it and I've got, you know, I've always got something pictured in my mind and then I just go to building. So no, no plans yet. I hadn't really thought about the inside and how I'm going to do the racks up top or nothing. So uh, we're just going to, we're just going to freestyle and go at it. But let me tell you something. I think this is going to be the ultimate way to do it. Now, you don't have to do this. You can do it like we did the, the you know, the one on the other side of the house. Or you could get a little pot belly stove and take the place of that. That's just something that I had in the barn right there. And it's been sitting there for, you know, for years and years. And I said, well, this would be a perfect place to put it and use it. You know, that way we'll get some use out of it. Anyway. I'm going to put it, uh, set the camera up out here somewhere and put this thing on fast motion and see how fast I can uh, get this thing done with this going on right here. So, hey, y'all bear with me. We fixing to do this. Gonna get y'all caught up i got a thunderstorm coming in it's starting to rain right now so uh, i'm gonna try to get all these tools and stuff pulled up under the barn before it really gets to flooding but i was gonna get y'all caught up oh uh, got to, got everything framed in you know it's rough like i said i've got one arm so i'm, I'm moving sort of slow i know but oh uh, it's coming along pretty good y'all wondering what all this corn is all over the ground it's a pack rat 
got in this stove. I had the door open, I guess, in the shop for the past couple of years. And he stuffed that thing slam full of corn and acorns and drill bits and screws and wood and hoses and hose clamps and shotgun shells and everything else he could pack in there. And that's what I did is I blew it all out and, and it's all over the place. But anyway, I got it shimmed up. The reason I got those old saw blades is I use those to sort of shim that thing up and level it. The bottom's not completely straight, you know, because it's, it's gotten so hot, I guess, in the past. And it sort of, you know, disfigured, warped the bottom of it a little bit. So I just shimmed it up with saw blades to keep it from rocking on those blocks. What I want to do is I want to, I'm going to build something, you know, some kind of concrete board or something. I might get dirt rock or something and deflect the heat off of the wood, you know, to, oh, uh, you know, to keep this bad boy from getting too hot because I don't want nothing to catch on fire. So I may line, I may line the inside of this, especially right here around the stove itself. I may line it with that dirt rock just to keep the heat, just to keep the heat off the wood. But all in all, I should be, I should be okay because it's not like I'm sitting here trying to just really get this thing stoking and burning hot. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to, trying to get it to a temperature, you know, to, to smoke sausage or, or whatever, which is going to be, you know, around a 200 degrees. So, I mean, we're not, it's not like we're going to ignite anything. Anyways, looking pretty good so far. Just got to get the uh, got to get the metal on the outside and and get some dura rock. And I am going to put an ale on that right there. You know, an ale on that stove pipe and just bring it out this way. And then that way, it's not just the heat's not just bellowing up right up the side right there. I was going to divert it, and maybe get it halfway. Should be able to walk in right here through the door and have uh, you know, up here have all of this for hanging. For hanging a uh, sausage or whatever and maybe two racks maybe another rack right in here you know and just leave one say a two by two spot right here where you can stand and you can just be like an l shape that you can work off of and uh, hang meat anyway tomorrow should get it done if it'll quit raining maybe i can get back on it this afternoon but like it's four feet wide you know it's four by four and I think I've got the top up there like six foot, you know, just to give it a little overhang, a foot overhang on both sides. Working out pretty good, turning out, you know, I think it's going to be nice. I really do. Anyway, y'all bear with me. If I get back out here this afternoon or tomorrow, we'll get it, we'll get it finished on out. All right, slow down for about a minute. Get y'all caught up. Got the metal on the outside. Still like the door. I got to build the door, you know, frame it out. I'm probably going to just use a piece of tin to cover it, too. Oh, still like the top. Got to put the top on it. Got to do all of the inside, you know, if I'm going to do that concrete board or whatever. But I was just going to get y'all caught up. Buried the metal in the ground probably about six inches. Use an old tin because that's what I had. You can use anything. You don't have to have a stove. You can do it like I did, the, you know, the other one. This is just seems like to me an easier way to do it, an you know, easier way to regulate the temperature and all that, and not have to walk in the, not have to walk in the smokehouse all the time, and you know fight that. Should be able to step right in here. The only have a two by two to be able to work with right here, and then racks right here, hang meat. Should be able to do all I want to do anyway. Looking good so far. <laughs> Rustic. And right there is definitely rustic right there. Yeah. Turning out pretty good. Let me get back at it. All right, y'all look at it. Had a thunderstorm coming up, so what it is, I just threw all that scrap wood. I threw a little bit in the uh, in the box right there, and I, I got it to going. And as soon as I did, I shut the gate on it, and, buddy, it started flooding. So uh, I just let it burn. I haven't completed the inside yet. I hadn't got any racks in there or anything like that. Oh, I just wanted to, to give y'all a, you know, get y'all caught up on it right now, you know, getting the door built and the top on it and everything. Oh. But it may take another video because I don't want this one to be too long and get everybody bored or whatever. But on the next video, I may have the inside complete and, uh, and go ahead and, and maybe 
Maybe smoke some, you know, something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's been probably burning for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes maybe. And I do have it jacked up a little bit. I mean, I don't have it completely restricted down. But I can. All I got to do is is that handle right there and uh, and that little knob down there at the bottom. And I can, I can, you know, restrict the airflow going to the fire and actually cut the temperature down. Because right now... I mean, you look at it, she's getting pretty warm. I don't know what you'd call that, maybe 250? I don't know, something like that. Like I said, all I gotta do to restrict, you know, to, to cut that temperature down is to uh, restrict that airflow right here from outside and I don't have to worry about, you know, getting anything too hot, burning up my meat or whatever. Not too bad though, y'all. Turned out really, really good. And like I said, I hope uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video, and I hope y'all can, uh, if you're interested in building one, you know, I'm hoping this will help you out because it's super simple and and inexpensive too. I mean, really, and you don't have to have you don't have to have the firebox. You know, you don't have to have a, a pot belly stove or something. You can do it. You could build it out of pipe. You know, a, a stove uh, out of pipe or, or anything. You could you could just build the box like this and then have the fire inside like I did the other one. You know, this right here just makes it easier for, for me. So I figured I would do a video on it. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And, uh, maybe, well, let me get y'all a look inside right here. See what you think about that. Whew, yeah. But like I said, I don't have anything complete in here yet, but I'm working on it. On the next video, I'll have y'all fixed up. Hey. Appreciate y'all.